Hey guys, how are you all doing? It's Cam back at you again with another video. Today I bring you Sato, a really cool lip by Randy Rhodes and an amazing solo in general. Off the Diary of a Madman album, tons of pentatonic -y ideas, but the lick we're focusing on today is this. <laughs> Let's go. To begin guys, we are in standard tuning. And the lick, obviously, is this. Not 100%, but you know the part I'm referring to. And it's a really cool idea. We're starting off in the C minor pentatonic shape. C minor, C sharp minor pentatonic shape. And it goes thusly. So immediately we're starting on a wrong note, which is Randy's genius. So we're starting on the 10th fret of the A string, sliding to the uh, 11th fret, and then to the 9th fret of the D string. Now here's where it gets really, really cool. We're going 12, 13, uh, sorry, 12, 11, and 9. Same on the G string. Now, uh, that's a full step bend on the uh, 11th fret of the G string. Then you pick the uh, 9th fret of the high E string. Now we're doing 12, 10, and 9. There we go. Important to get the unison bend there. Now we're sliding all the way up to the uh, 20, no, 19th fret. And we're doing the uh, an E major arpeggio here. But not in the conventional way. We're doing we're alternate picking. Now it's uh, pulling off to the 16th fret. So 19, 17, 16, then back to the 17th fret again. Pull off back to the 16th. That's where the arpeggio happens. So 16th on the, on the high E string. 17 on the B string, 16 on the G string, and then go back to the 17th of the uh, B string again. And to resolve it, we go from the uh, 16th fret to the 14th of the G string, and then to the uh, E major. A flat there on the 13th fret of the G string to finish so slowly and I wouldn't be teaching this if it wasn't useful so it's a really good way of getting you to play outside of boxes so what I, sh what I mean here is so you're playing technically out of key but you know which chord I'm implying, so it could be obviously it's or, or A major, whichever you choose, but see that you just use that. Now, when you get back to this arpeggio part of it. You could use it in a manner of different ways, break the lick apart. Use it in different arpeggio shapes, but really quickly I can just show you uh, a way of tying it all together. You 
can play it at different octaves. It's really, really cool. But that's it. Thanks very much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you like what you've seen. Please make sure you check out some of my other lessons. I hope you find them really useful. And please like and subscribe. Take care.